In this presentation, I'm going to be delving into how to get people to listen to your message instantly. This will not only pertain to giving speeches to big groups or people, but to leading small groups and communicating one-on-one -on -one with others as well. There are plenty of reasons why it may seem like people aren't listening to you. Perhaps some people are having trouble grasping what you're saying, or maybe your audience just isn't engaged. The good news is, there are lots of strategies you can use to get people to listen to you and hear your message instantly. Let's talk about them now. 1. Tell stories. People love stories. That's why it's a great idea to tell stories and personal anecdotes to engage your audience. When telling stories to keep people engaged, there are a few things you'll want to keep in mind. First, make sure you describe the scene well. Give your listeners a clear picture of what was happening and who was involved. Second, don't forget to share your emotions while telling the story so that your audience can connect with what you were feeling at the time. You should also try to keep your stories relatively concise, as no one wants to listen to a story that drones on and on. 2. Use humor. Not everyone is a natural-born comedian, but even if you're not the best at cracking jokes, you can still use humor to engage your audience. One effective technique is to surprise your audience by defying their expectations, such as saying yes when the obvious answer should be no, or vice versa. Another approach is to play with the characteristics of your characters when telling a story. If there's a trait clearly associated with one character, it might be funny to attribute it to a different character unexpectedly. You may also want to observe some comedians on YouTube and see how they tell stories while incorporating humor. 3. Capture your audience's attention. Using attention-grabbing opening sentences like, I had the strangest experience the other day, you won't believe who I ran into at the grocery store, or we met in the funniest way, can honestly work wonders when it comes to drawing your audience in. The introductory sentences you use will set the tone for your story and speech as a whole. It'll engage your audience much more than simply reading out a bunch of facts or presenting a slideshow full of walls of text. The reason for this is that these types of sentences make people feel like you're talking directly to them, which is very engaging. 4. Have a thesis statement. The thing about storytelling is you don't want to get completely bogged down in it. Your audience will want to know your thesis statement, basically the goal of your presentation or speech, early on. So make sure to tell them what your thesis statement is in an engaging way. For example, if you're pitching a new market strategy to your team members, you might start your presentation with something like, I'm convinced that using this marketing approach will drive higher conversions and engagement. Then, explain why you're convinced this is the case. Five. Be confident. People are naturally drawn to confidence. To boost your confidence, try to remove any filler words from your vocabulary. People will unfortunately be able to tell that you're struggling with confidence if you're constantly filling space with like or um. You can also show your confidence by how you carry yourself. Don't slouch, make eye contact with the audience, and don't be afraid to take up space. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.